Hello everybody. I got the request for a light bulb quite a few times already and when I got yet another one some days ago I decided to do this. I used a backdrop from Google Pictures when you search for light bulb then uh, you get this selection and I used this one because it is uh, quite nice and quite a frontal view. So let's start. I imported this backdrop, resized it down to 1%, otherwise it would be a huge bulb and you know uh, all the Modo defaults are such that they should work best in real life dimensions. Okay, here you see the name of the JPEG and what they also did, I put the transparency to 85%. Then one more step, I moved the backdrop down a bit so the center of the world is here, which means I have the center of this dome here. So let's start. I start with a quad ball with a subdivision level of 5, so we get 24 edges around and control left click drag it out here like about so then uh, I put it in the middle and go out of subdivision mode by hitting the tab key. Next in polygon mode I select this control copy control V R key and scale it down to 99% then I press the F key to flip the highlighted sphere and delete the bottom the reason why I uh, use a quad ball is the top here because here we have a very nice top. If I would use a normal sphere, we would have a spider up here. And if you have a glass surface, this would look terrible. So let me toggle the grid and go back to front view. Then I select these edges here, Z key and bring them down to about here. R key on the middle circle, make it smaller, like about so. Then I can select an edge in here, Alt-C, count of five or six or seven, up to you, uniform. Then I use, uh, select the outer hole here, and hide it with the H key, select an edge in here, Alt C, and put in five uh, slices so we have uh, the same geometry on the inside as well as on the outside. So U for unhide, and then I go press the Tab key so it is subdivided and then start to adjust this R key, the middle circle here, like so, R key again, ah, but just one of them, like so, this one is matching, this one So, R key again, like about so, that's good. It's more a question of the right proportions than absolutely matching the background. Okay, now this mesh here is the top of the bulb. So rename it to top, then I press the N key to get the new mesh. This will be the bottom. 
and I have already made a few uh, tutorials about how to make a real thread. This time I will make a fake thread, which uh, you will not see when on the final render. And believe me, this will produce the best results or it is also very easily easy to be made. So I select a cylinder here with 16 sides and control left click bring it out here something like this put it in the middle zero here and then uh, I want to have it around the Y I can bring it down to about here and then make it a bit longer like so and first I make shift C I make a straight cut through here middle mouse another straight one through here middle mouse another one through here drop the tool then I select the bottom polygon here R key again and bring it to about here then I need shift C again X key so we are not in snapping and bring one from here to here and middle mouse another one from here to here yes then we need another one down here like so about in the middle and first I bring in this one here a bit R key so then in between here R key here we need one two three four five additional ones so alt C count of five uniform put it in then we can select one in here one two up arrow key L for loop R key bring them into about here yes then we need shift C X key to get snapping back on a straight cut through here and another one through about here then select two polygons L key alt C and left click in here but with the count of two and symmetry and give this a material so M and this is insulation okay hide it M again this is uh, metal and on height forgot something L shift up arrow B for bevel bevel it in a bit like so yes good now we need to harden these edges so I select an edge in here up arrow key one more L key B for bevel and a round level of one so let's see and be careful here so we do not cross and now let's see how this looks when we get rid of yeah that looks like a thread of a light bulb good 
Maybe this a bit too small. I need to make it a bit bigger. So R key and then yeah make this a hundred and four and in the set also one oh four. Good. And let's finish the top here. Oops, that's not in the middle. So center selected in Z. Good. I select this B for bevel, bevel it in to about here, shift click, bevel it down and in like so. Then shift click again and bevel it in once more. Now I can select these two edges, Alt C, then the middle polygon here, shift up arrow, one more, M, and this will be insulation as well, like so. Good. Now we have the top, we have the bottom or the thread. Now I press the N key for a new mesh. This new mesh will be my inside mesh. So front view again. Uh, we don't need to see top and bottom. We just want to model this part here now. So I need a cylinder with eight sides. Control left click, drag it out here um, around the Y. So bring the top up to here, the bottom to about here and I delete the bottom polygon. Now we need some edges so Alt 4 is my uh, shortcut uh, edge add loop so I add a loop in here one shift click again here here we have a hole which probably is for manufacturing reasons and one more here. Now L key, go to perspective view, B for bevel on the blue handle to about here. Then I go back to front view, select these polygons and these ones, press shift X, right click to activate the tool, R key and then on the red handle pull this out to about here, W key to here, like so. Now I make this hole here, perspective, B for bevel. Remember from the spider tutorials, bevel is your friend when you want to avoid having spiders on critical edges. Then Alt Q and click to bridge. Alt Q is my shortcut for the bridge tool. Alt C again, count of two and symmetry. Yes, let's have a look from the front. Uh, it is a bit. It is our key. Like so. That's good. Now here I don't really know how this looks. I suppose this is some kind of enforcement to this structure. So R key again on the blue handle and pull it out like so. Now we need some supporting edges. Definitely one in here and another one in here, I guess. No, a 
it's better. Yes. Then two in here, Alt C, and two in here. Okay, that looks good. So W key, bring it down. R key to make it flat. <clears throat> now we need uh, these wires in here or the contacts. So again, basic cylinder with eight sides, control left click, bring it to here and around Y again. Then I can use, drop the tool, select this polygon, W key, bring it up, then select this one, W key, bring it down to here and delete. Now we need to bend this part here. So Alt 4 for my add loop, add loop here, add another one here. Then I select this edge, Alt C with a count of 5 again and uniform. Click in here, then polygon mode, uh, shift up arrow to here, deform, bend here, nice, like so, maybe a bit more. Now I can use this polygon here, W, and bring it to where I want to have it, about here. Here is another area which needs some attention, so add a single loop through here and another one through about here. L key B for bevel again. Bevel this control Z sorry. Must go to perspective so I see the blue handle like so. Then I can take these edges and these ones and bevel them with the round level of 1, but I think I use the square option. Put 2 in here, symmetry, yes, good, and bevel this edge also, like so, good, and it seems to be in the middle. now front view, I go to basic and select uh, the curve tool, put one curve from here to here. I will not make this circle here, I leave this up to you. So we can give this some material, this is uh, contacts. And here I need to, in the mesh properties, render curve, maybe one millimeter, we can check that later. Now I can select these two, maybe this one here, basic center, select it on Z, select both, duplicate, mirror, over X, apply. Yes, and now the only thing left to do, this is glass, is uh, the spiral here. So I go to this view and make a new mesh. And the spiral must be contained within this contact. So 
I zoom in here and make a box. So control left click, bring this box out, align the top with the center of the world. Then I can select the top, invert this selection and delete. Now we can radial array this. So duplicate, oh sorry, radial sweep. And I want to have a hundred windings. So and 12 um, segments per winding. So this must be 1200. And if I have 100 windings, then this must be 36,000. And the offset, my uh, bulb has a diameter or a radius of around 40 millimeters. So I start with 40, we can adjust this later. Action center is origin and apply, and that was wrong. We need it around the X and get rid of the helix generator. Let's see what we have. Flip everything and bring it in the middle. And let's see front view. That's not so bad. Um, it's just too straight. I also want to have it uh, a little bit of a pattern. So I create a radial fall off from here to here. W key. Ah, that's not good. I want to have an ease in. Like so. Then fall off again in the middle here, W and bring it up a bit and fall off again, radio here, W like so. That looks more natural. And I give it the same material as the contact. So M again, contacts. Good. Now make sure this is uh, now that we already did it. It is in the middle. Let's see. We have top, bottom, inside. This is the spiral. And now let's see how this renders. A key. First, we need to make sure that everything is uh, subdivided. We can see this in the lists. Tab, go to polygons by type, and you see we have 5000 faces. So press the tab key, and now we have subdivisions everywhere and we can assign the materials. So uh, since we are already here I will add this aluminium as metal. Um, insulation material will be dark and no specularity. And then the glass, where is it here, thick glass, ah oh, we have not yet assigned a glass material, so M glass render Oops, I know what it is. Uh, we have two. Let's go to this top here. We 
we have an outer and an inner shape and I have only assigned the glass material to the outer one. So M again, glass. Now this should look a lot different. And by the way, let's see. Yes, looks good. But I told you that when you want to have realistic glass, you need to have some thickness. I will show you how it looks if you don't have this. So I hide it. And you see, you get some strange artifacts here. It does not look like glass at all. So unhide this, go back to our render tab and assign the rest of the materials. But we also need to go to this inside mesh, uh, mesh and make this maybe 0.1 millimeters. Yes, like so. And this here is also glass. And the contact material, I make also something dark, like so. Okay, uh, let me rotate this. We don't need to see the backdrop. E key rotate it 90 degrees and uh, let's see the grid e key again but uh, around here somewhere like so now we can add plane so shift click on here W key bring it down to the bottom of this light bulb and give it the material call it plane back to render or maybe I should have assigned some environment this one yes starts to look not bad. Actually, I quite like it. And Yes, that's it. Now F9 to render. Now first I want to assign this another size. 1280 by 720. So I can use it as the YouTube preview. Yes, that's, that's fine. F9 and render it. So here it is. I think this is a pretty realistic light bulb. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.